Wow, that's an awesome machine. Check out the size of those tires. And you need a ladder to climb into it. <laughs> cool. Those are special tires for driving on rough terrain. It also has a cable winch. Hey, you two. We wanted to go to the forest to see animals, not trucks. Okay, okay, sis. You're right. First, I want to see a deer, then a wild boar, and a fox. Forest animals are very shy. Many of them are also only active at night and hide away during the day. Therefore, we should keep very quiet and keep a lookout. That way, we are sure to see some forest inhabitants. Well then, who are you? Ah, it's nice and cool here in the forest. Much more comfortable than out in the field. Yes, and the air somehow feels different. Just really fresh. That is because of the air humidity. When it gets really warm, a large tree can evaporate up to four bathtubs full of water. That cools the air and the forest. It uses its roots to suck up the water from the soil. Cool! It's like a tree air conditioning system. Yes, more or less. Plants and trees everywhere make the climate better. This is why it is also important that cities have lots of green areas and trees. Why are all the trees in the forest so big? Much bigger than our apple tree in the garden. Since they are stretching up to reach the light, they grow higher and higher. Just like all green plants, trees need lots of sunlight. Why? It's like this. Trees make their own food. To do that, they need... Sunlight! Exactly. And water, mineral nutrients from the soil, and carbon dioxide from the air. What is that carbon stuff? Carbon dioxide is a gas that comes from the air. When we breathe, we breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide, among other things. What does a tree do with it? With the help of chlorophyll. Chloro what? Chlorophyll, that is the name of the green substance in the leaves. Using chlorophyll and water, mineral nutrients in the soil, carbon dioxide and sunlight. Exactly. The tree produces a sticky sweet juice it needs this in order to live. It stores some of it in the roots for the winter. A tree that can do all of that is pretty cool. Yes, but the best part is, during photosynthesis, which is what this process is called, the tree produces oxygen. The oxygen that we humans breathe? The very same. So, you see, plants are humans' best friend because they supply the oxygen that every animal and person need in order to live. I think we should plant a lot more trees. Yes, that would be very good for the climate and for all forms of life across the world. Psst! Did you hear that? What? Psst! Psst! Look, that! Is it an animal? No, it is those two over there. Can you move to one side? You are in the picture. I don't see a picture anywhere. You guys are standing in it. Where? Look out! Did you get that? Did you get that? Maybe. Cool. Are you guys making a movie about us? Well, it's actually about the forest and the animals that live here. Oh, what if you managed to film already? Do you want to see? I want to make movies about wildlife, too, as long as I can drive such an awesome truck. Uh... What was I looking for again? You'll find it any minute now. Oh, yes. Here. I have it. Wow. Deer. They live here, too? Red deer live in Europe, North America, Northwest Africa, and in Northern Asia. Since they are widely hunted, and because there are fewer and fewer large forests, their population has dramatically reduced. I know what they are. Those are raccoons. They're funny. <laughs> Did you know that raccoons are related to bears? They are predators and like to eat insects, worms, and bugs, but also berries and nuts. Baby foxes. How cute are they? Oh. After just four months, 
the young foxes become independent and must make their own way in the world. Foxes mostly hunt at night, and they have very good hearing. They spend their days sleeping in their foxholes. Wow! Your pal here really does know everything. Where can I buy one? There are many things I don't know. For example, I don't know what color the dinosaurs were, what the universe is made of, whether time travel is possible, and if it is really true that the Yang Mills equations used to describe elementary oh, particles. Okay, okay. I'm already moved. <laughs> <laughs>